Right, so we're now in Elgin. Uh, we've been to the pub, we've had a drink. Uh, I'm looking forward to the game. This is, of course, the first competitive meeting between Elgin City and Motherwell. Uh, the last time we played them was in a friendly match when Elgin City were high and flying in the Highland League uh, and Motherwell were uh, doing a Highland tour. And uh, we drew one each at Borough Briggs, which is where we are going today, the name of Elgin City Stadium. And I was actually here six years ago uh, when I was doing mad uh, everywhere. I was just everywhere. Like I, I went from Barrow and Furness to Elgin City in the space of 24 hours. I, I saw a testimonial match here uh, in which I think it was for, I think the guy's surname was Twig. Uh, they were playing Celtic uh, 11 or Select 11. And Aidan Nesbitt was starting for Celtic. That's how long ago it was. I think Celtic ran out for 4 1 winners. So, yeah, let's get to the ground and I'm looking forward to this match. So, just as my maps have taken me on a slight detour, uh, Motherwell's team is. I don't think it's going to be what the starting 11 is going to be on this first game of the season. Uh, we've got a few new blood, as in young blood, coming in. Uh, likes of Wilson and uh, Luca Ross uh, coming in to start. Um, we've also got Connor Wilkinson and John Beek up front. Midfield three of Spittle, Slattery and uh, Lennon Miller. And then back three of Mugabe, um, who else? Blaney and I can't even remember at this moment in time. Uh, but it's I think it's makeshift to say the least. I don't want to be the one to say, oh, it should be enough to beat Elgin City because that is just a recipe for disaster saying that. But I'm hoping it's going to be enough to maybe get us a win by a couple of goals. Like, genuinely, just getting a result here today is all that matters. Performance doesn't 100% matter when it comes to the cup. It's just all about the result. Here we are. Here we are, the start of the new campaign. Go on the way! Oh man, that is amazing. Prediction today, I said in my TikTok, if you want to follow that, link's in the description. I think we'll win 3 1. You know, we've got a bit of an experience at the back, so. Don't know if that's going to cost us or not, but we'll see how it goes. You know, it's gone exactly how I expected. Like we are sitting on the ball. Uh, our goal was from a long shot. I mean, we've not really broken Elgin down that much, but we haven't really needed to. Elgin haven't really. Well, they haven't offered much in the game, and you know we're comfortable. But we need a couple more goals to make it more comfortable. Because I'm not happy just sitting on 1-0. I want us to go and get a second or even a third. Being greedy, but genuinely, 
your average early in the season game by 1-0 up we'll take that at half time and there's the teams coming back out for the second half 1-0 Now it's time to get out of here before those clouds get uh, start to thunder it down. As the tide came in on the first competitive meeting of these two teams, this year I will be documenting how much I spend on going to football matches. The match ticket, which was agreed on by all clubs in the group, is £12 for an adult and £6 for a concession. With my day starting at 5 o'clock in the morning, the bus from Edinburgh to Aberdeen return cost me in total £12.97. My return train ticket from Aberdeen to Elgin cost £14.40, which once you've done the quick maths adds up to £39.37. If you went to the game, how much did it cost you? So just to summarise uh, how the game went, I, I thought, you know what, for the first game of the season, it could have been a lot worse. Uh, the job was done professionally, uh, it was 2-0, it was comfortable, I don't think we deserved to win by any more, I don't think Elgin did enough to actually uh, scrape our defence at all. Yeah, Wilkinson was alright, uh, we also had Wilson um, making his debut, Luca Ross's first start as well and Lennon Miller's first goal for the club at the age of 16 and what, 320 odd days or something like that. When I was 16, I'd just finished playing boys club football. 
and look at where Lennon Miller's heading. Like, the sky's the limit for the guy. Okay, yeah, it was Elgin City. It wasn't exactly someone that was uh, of the Premiership standard, but I think that's yet to come. Um, there's a lot of positives to take from uh, Saturday, and, um, you know, considering other clubs at our level lost games such as St. John's losing to Stennis Muir, St. Martin losing to Montrose, even Dundee United getting beat by Spartans, which is quite funny, and Tony Watt missing a penalty. Um, you know, it could have been a lot worse. So let's just take that for how it was and move on to Tuesday's game against Queen of the South. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Take care.